As Europe continues to see new record highs in daily COVID-19 infections, countries there are on a state of alert as they attempt to stem the rapid spread. Our Lee Seung-jae reports. Another day and another day of new daily highs in infection cases in parts of Europe. This includes France, which reported over 52,000 new COVID-19 cases over the past 24 hours alone, after registering over 45,000 a day earlier. France now has over 1.1 million cases since the start of the pandemic. Italy, which has reported over 21,000 cases in the past 24 hours, has imposed at least a month of new measures across the country. This includes shutting down gyms, pools and movie theaters, while putting an early curfew on cafes and restaurants. Despite restaurant and bar owners lobbying against the new measures, the curfew forces stores to close at 6 p.m. In addition, the new measures close ski slopes apart for competitive skiers, and all spectators are banned from stadiums during professional matches. Receptions after religious or civil ceremonies such as weddings are now forbidden. The latest decree is effective starting Monday and will run through November 24th. In Spain, the cabinet on Sunday approved a new national state of alarm aimed at giving the country's regional governments the legal framework needed to limit mobility. Regions will be allowed to restrict the entry and exit from their territories, apart for essential reasons such as going to work or seeing a doctor. It also allows for regions to close their borders should they have a neighboring territory hit hard by the virus. However, the decree does not mean the closure of Spain's borders. It marks the second time the government has issued such a decree, with the latest one less strict than the first in March. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.